I have no fucking clue what's going on right now. I- no, I seriously have no fucking clue what's going on right now, like... Why- why- first my computer crashes, now the Twitch stream just stopped. So, I'm still fighting this enemy, and I'm using their overdrive. Delta attack. It's actually pretty strong, and something to mention about the Mega Sisters, they're, they may be very unwieldy to use, but, and this is a big but by the way viewers, you can have them actually, you, they can actually have the ability to use their overdrive multiple turns in a row. It's kind of irksome to try and get that to work, but it is possible to pull off. And that did way less than what I was expecting it to do. So, it's gonna rush attack and kill all three of them. <sighs> See you, Mega Sisters. And then Yuna's dead. Oh well. Guess I just need more speed. Yeah, wasn't up the snuff. What the fuck ever. Let's go on and change formation. There we go. Researching the fiends, and he has created the ultimate bomb. The final bomb type, I didn't show it off, but in the Omega Ruins there is a bomb type called the Poro Boros. So say hello to the King Bomb. Unlike the other bombs, when you attack it, it doesn't actually grow. So you've got a pretty decent pretty possible chance of actually beating it. Assuming that it doesn't get multiple turns in a row and fucks you over. I don't remember... Okay, there it goes. Yeah. It does, uh... It, it grows dependent on how much health you've attacked with, or how much damage you've dealt to it, basically. So you can get it, like, almost all the way down, then if you miss that last one little bit of health that you need to deal to it, uh, you'll just kind of be fucked over. Let's pull Kimari, I need scan. Unless if I'm thinking right, this guy is yep, immune to scan. God damn it. It grows once more. And casts Ultima. Well, I'm dead. Nice seeing you, King Palm. <laughs> yeah, don't expect to beat uh, most of these enemies when you first unlock them. There are only a select few that you'll probably actually be able to beat. So he's made the ultimate eyeball enemy. And with this viewers, I've officially unlocked the requirement I need for the super level grinding. Not the stamina tablet. I've got plenty of those. But this boss, not boss, this enemy right here, the ultimate eye, it has the potential to drop a piece of equipment that gives you 
triple overdrive, basically. I just need to be a little bit more powerful to withstand that attack, his first attack, because usually at this point in the game, you're not going to be fast enough to cancel out its ambush. So, he's been researching the specimens from the Omega Ruins and made a nasty one. Designer wallet we get. And... The enemy he made was this thing. A Vorban. It is also an enemy type we have not yet seen. This enemy type in particular is extremely annoying. The reason why I say this is because even if you've got piercing on your weapon, it'll still be able to block you, which will reduce damage. It does also have that as a counterattack. I was hoping to be able to show that off. But yeah, I, I do not like fighting against that particular enemy type because even if you've got piercing and armor broke him and all that fun stuff, it'll still manage to block you. Is that it? Nope. He's created the very... He's created a very strange elemental, which means he's created the ultimate elemental. Say hello to the Nega Element. <laughs> this guy's gonna fuck me up. Let's go on and pop an energy rain. Come on. Damn it! Well, that was a waste of an energy rain. It on you only get it to count towards your total if you get a grate on it. If you don't, then it won't count towards your total, which means I just messed it up once. This bitch counters attacks with Ultima. Nasty shit. But that's when I wanted to pop Energy Ring, because it automatically charged it. Now, something I'll maybe curious about. Why did Orin, in that fight against the ultimate eyeball, get the first attack? That's because of his ultimate weapon, which has initiative on it. It guarantees the first attack in a battle. So, I've collected 10 of every enemy in the Omega Dungeon, minus Varuna. These guys are super rare, and I just got fed up with trying to find them. So, let's board the airship, head over to Luca first. You're count. Yeah, 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 you can count on me all you want later. As for right now, we need to go to Luca. Yeah. Ah, here we go! I will be getting the Jupiter Sigil. Or is it the... Okay, yeah, the Jupiter Sigil. I'll be getting the Jupiter Sigil off screen because I have no clue when it'll decide to appear as a prize. So, first things first, come on back here. Eject Sphere. Hey, Baron, did you get that last match? Yeah, but I don't understand why you wanted me to. Didn't you say you have Blitzball in your Xanarkand? Not a sportsman, are ya? Working on your form? My form don't need no work. I'm the great Jack. It's for my kid. Your son plays Blitzball? Yeah, and he wants to beat his old man bad. Once I told him to give it up, he didn't speak to me for a week. Wonder what he's doing now. I hope he got bigger and put on some muscle. Hey, what's a big idea? Stop shooting! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Orin. So, with that done, I did miss this earlier. I could have gotten it when we first left Luca, 
but I just didn't bother. Uh, first things first, if any of your uh, if any of your contracts run out with the um, Besaid Orox, this is where they are. You can come here and talk to them. And in here is the Jupiter Crest. So I think I am just missing one um, We're counting. I think I'm just missing one sphere, and that would be uh, on the moon flow, I believe. Yeah! Here we go! It's either one or two that I'm missing. I want to say it's one, though. And there's that one. Come on. There we go, Jack Sphere. Watch it. Sorry, but your wife is dead, brah. Okay, I was wrong. There is one more somewhere else. I'll find it later. I don't feel like looking all over for it. If any, if it's gonna be anywhere, it'll probably be on the Jose Road. Maybe. I'm not sure. Alright. So enough putting this off. Let's head back to the Omega Ruins. Now... One real quick thing of note. Before you start exploring this area... You're gonna want to go on and make a save. There are several... And I know I'm not going to get these on my first try. I'll play back through later off screen to get them. But there are several places where there are more than one treasure chest. Choosing wrong will get you a fiend. Choosing right will get you two items. So, I chose the, I got chose right the first time and got a level 4 key sphere. Which means I am guaranteed to have the second one choose right as well, which is apparently a defending bracer. Bracer, that's a, yeah, defending bracer, silence proof, okay, worthless. So yeah, there are things like that scattered all throughout the Omega Ruins. And the final one, which has a layout of four treasure chests, is the most difficult. The th Ugh. So, now we're over here where there are three. Uh, this one. Turnover. This one! Sweet! Level 3 key sphere, which means I got this one correct too. Defending armlet. What was that turnover? I do not know. Okay, apparently. Okay, counterattack and magic counter. Eh, it's actually better than what. Why are you still in my party, Kimari? Get the fuck out of my party. So, I'm actually surprised. I got the first two perfect. 
unfortunately there is still